<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, welcome. I'm here today to ask you to do something. It won't be easy and it will challenge you and make you uncomfortable. I want you all to please start living young. Believe me, it's a term that gets thrown at me a lot. I often get told to act my age when I'm in trouble and it's normally a negative thing, telling tales, throwing tantrums and, dis and displaying irrational behaviour. Funnily enough, those behaviours don't happen often at my place. Not nearly as often as, say, question time in Parliament. But I'm the childish one, right? I'm here to get you to think, what is it to be young? Let me step you through some key elements of what it takes. I wonder if you have got it in you. We take risks and live in the moment. We believe in possibilities. We push the button to see what it does. We are connected 24-7. We imagine, dream, and play with ideas. We are standing on the edge of a new future, a new order. Around the globe, young people are becoming influencers and activists, using technologies and control that those in power have little concept of. They're calling the shots and singling out old school's powers that be for not doing enough. They're tough, tough and, and singing, singing words, words that some older generations take offence to. But how far are they from the truth? I stand before you today to tell you, I wish I knew what I am to become. I, I wish, wish I, I could predict, predict the, future. the future. See, I don't have all the answers, but I have lots of questions. When we become adults, we become cautious of taking risks. I wonder, how are we in Bass Coast prepared to face the unprecedented challenges that face our time? Things like climate change, the ever-changing shifts in technology, if we aren't willing to take risks. As our local identity evolves, and as the economy diversifies and population grows and changes, how can we innovate if we aren't harnessing our creativity and our playfulness? It's possible these youthful qualities are exactly what is required for the job. And as I think about the pressures of my own day-to-day -day life, trying to balance my responsibilities, career and family, is any of it worthwhile if we can't sometimes stop and be present in the moment? To take it all in, this beautiful place, this community and our fortunate lives. Do we recognise the importance of connecting to the moment when we see others doing it? But we're talking about perception here, right? And it underpins everything we think we know, we believe, our hopes, our dreams. Everything begins with perception. But here's the thing, perception is grounded in history. We only ever respond accordingly to what we've done before. But actually, that's a massive problem. Because how can we ever see things differently? As adults and community leaders, we often underestimate young people's abilities. Based on perception and our limited exposure, we step away from the connections to youth. We see it as a phase that we have moved on from. We sometimes set low expectations, but then act genuinely surprised when young people sink to the expectations that we have set them. Tonight, I want to put a line in the sand. I want us to believe in the possibilities and become a community that puts young people front and centre and then stands not in front and not behind but right beside the young people as they realise their full potential. It's an investment that might seem risky but it has incredible returns for us as a community. These are simply words. The challenge is out there for us to act on them and the rest is over to you. <laughs>